conservation is um, at the heart and one of the key values of the Cresswell Heritage Trust. So any way we can reduce our footprint and also being a charity save any money, we just thought it was a fantastic chance. So we got a consultant in called Christina and she came in, um, did a really, really thorough um, inspection of the building. Then um, we got basically a report which we used as an action plan and then we started to work through it um, prioritising which areas we wanted to start with. With the money um, we bought some automated taps because we were finding that at the visitor centre the taps were being left on and it's been saving us a lot of water um, which of course is great for the environment and saving us on our, our water bills as well. We were in desperate need of finding a safe um, way of getting to the higher reaches of the building. So this telescopic platform is fantastic for us. It um, doesn't take up a lot of space, can reach um, right up to the top of the ceiling. Um, and we also got the tool caddy complete with a lot of the tools that we needed for our maintenance chap. And also we can use it when we are doing new exhibitions as well. We've also got light sensors um, in the big education rooms downstairs and some of the back of house areas because some of those lights were being left on as well. And just the little things, if everybody just does a little bit every day, then it all adds up to a huge saving and making this museum a lot, lot greener. Um, we're a really small property and the museum development gave us a chance to monitor what we were doing and how well we were doing or not, where we wanted to improve and an opportunity to really target our conservation need. So before the um, visitors were roped off in the doorway, um, the kitchen was a hessian-backed wooden uh, lino uh, inlaid to look like parquet. Um, it had never, it just wasn't standing up, it just, we couldn't even stand on it ourselves. And by having the photography and the iMac put down, we can now open that space up for visitors to explore. The clock. Um, is a cheap American import. Um, it ironically uh, stands up and testifies to the decline of the British clockmaking industry and Workstop was known um, as a clockmaking town. Um, it lives or lived in the wash house. Um, by having it conserves, it's been able to go on display and on show this year. So we can talk about that story and talk about how horology has changed. We're trying to do some more community work at the moment. So we're looking at off-site. Um, and what our relevance is within the local community. Um, we know our audiences travel to us, um, so we want to do some work around how we get our local community involved in the story, the property and, and its spirit really. Hello and welcome to Merringham Airfield Museum. Um, my name's Peter Garland. I'm the Honorary Secretary and Stewards Coordinator here. We're currently filming inside the site's Douglas Dakota aeroplane. We got involved in the Museum's Development East Midlands Audience Development Programme because we wanted to see whether our idea and viewpoint of how to develop the, develop the site for our target audience was correct, proper and working. But we've also identified through the programme new target audi audiences, new ways of reaching those audiences and how to develop the site to further improve the visitor experience. And part of that will eventually be allowing visitors access into the interior of this aircraft, putting up new displays in the display rooms, new signage around the site so that people can interpret it what they're seeing, new signage at the entrance to attract people in. It's gone towards the development of a new website which is currently being populated right this very minute and new advertising materials, Facebook, Twitter. We're exploring all these avenues and thanks to the work and training of Museums Development East Midlands we're able to use these facilities properly and able to understand how to use them. Fiona organised a visit to a Nottingham Heritage Digitisation Service. Because we've got large pictures of aircraft with uh, airmen standing in front of them, I thought that would be a perfect opportunity to use 
the digitisation programme for something like that. We also have some um, maps as well and they're very rare maps that only were used by the captains of the aircraft, the Lancaster bombers that were flying from here at Me RAF Metheringham during the wartime. And um, you can't replace those. So I thought it'd be nice to be able to digitise those. And this was something that the um, Nottingham University facility could do. So we applied for ready to borrow funding from Museum Development East Midlands and what that's enabled us to do is to refurbish one of our temporary exhibition spaces here at the Manor House Museum in Kettering and with the money we purchased some very high quality um, Click Netherfield showcases which you can see behind me. This has enabled us to approach the British Museum for a loan of world-class and significant items that were found locally in Desborough and to bring them to the museum for an exhibition from September 2018. Without the funding from uh, museum development, we wouldn't have been able to do that. We didn't have the high quality showcases that the loan required and the environmental conditions. And um, without the funding, we couldn't have brought these amazing objects back to Kettering. Um, Silgrave Manor Trust's been around for a long time, nearly a hundred years, and it felt like it was time for us to renew some of the things that we do. When we sent the application in initially, it was just to work with our trustees. Since that time, we've been lucky enough to also use um, the funding to help us work with our staff and our management team and look at some team building and new ways for them to work together as well. The programmes allowed us to look at the ways that we uh, recruit our trustees and the roles that we recruit to as well. Um, recruiting for skills that are particularly relevant for the work that we're doing going forward as we change as an organisation. One of the most important things that um, East Midlands um, Museums Development has uh, enabled me to do has been to have um, a touch screen which has brought us into the modern age and children absolutely love it. The beauty of this one has been that it has two parts to it, uh, which is what I wanted. I wanted the first part to show artwork that um, was in store so that that's an, like extended galleries. And the second part was um, children's activities and it's worked fantastically well. It's exactly what I was hoping for and that's due to funding from um, East Midlands Development. Museum development has really helped us in the last few years to progress um, the museum and what it's really done is given us the confidence to uh, try new things, to experiment, um, to be much braver about what we do and how we do it and think about how we engage with our communities and with our audiences. Um, the funding we've had through museum development has allowed us to do things like take part in the town centre events and fairs that we have in Melton Mowbray. So for example that started last year with painting the town red. It just allowed us to engage with local people and just get the museum out and talk to people and that was absolutely fantastic. Sometimes it's the smallest changes that make the biggest difference. So for example one of the things that's come out of this project is a member of the front of house team went to the Group for Educators in Museums program and came back with a really great idea for how we could very simply do a map that showed visitors around the museum and she was able to just come, her, come back and do that straight away and that map is now available for museum visitors to use. great everyone's really friendly really helpful um, if you've stuck on anything and they're more than happy to help and ask and the team are really supportive of giving any advice they can. 
and I find that it's incredibly friendly and kind of approachable and they're always really good at actually talking to the region, asking the region what they would like um, and kind of responding to our needs. Whatever the size of your organisation or the stage you're at in the journey, I would say it's well worth applying for this programme because it can help you move to the next stage. It's good to have somebody as a sounding board and who can give you advice but, uh, and also organised uh, several visits for us, uh, which again was great because it enabled us to see best practice in other similar circumstances and I think that's the thing because it, it's not unachievable the things that we saw other people doing. Visiting other museums in the country as a group, being able to take time out, look at what they're doing and learn new ideas and inspiration and actually bring that back to our own museum. One of the things which for me personally has come out of this is I've submitted a session proposal to the Museums Association Annual Conference. I never ever would have done that with without the support of the network. We've benefited greatly from it, from not just the investments, but also from the knowledge. It doesn't matter what type of building you've got, what type of site you run, it's definitely worth just getting in touch and just seeing what um, improvements you can make. It's been a really good introduction to Museum Development East Midlands and the team have been really friendly and, um, and it's been great to work with them.